Sunday, it has now been three months since the Biden administration's botched Afghanistan exit. The State Department says several hundred Americans are still trapped behind the enemy lines. Oh, I thought it was only 100, like two months ago. Huh? Uh, the Afghan war's disastrous ending has some veterans questioning if their service was worth the sacrifice. My next guest says he has a message for all of them. Here with me now, retired Navy SEAL, Echelon Front founder and author of the brand new novel, Final Spin. It's out today. It is fantastic, great, succinct writing. It is a page turner and delightfully short chapters, for which I thank you, and I thank you for your service, Jocko Willink. Welcome back. Thanks for having me, Kennedy. So what do you say to people who served in Afghanistan uh, when, you know, people like General Milley say, yeah, looking back, the war was a total failure. Uh, was their service in vain? Well, their service wasn't in vain because, first of all, we did prevent attacks on this country for 20 straight years. There was a generation of Afghans that got to understand, hey, there's potential out there for a better life. There was a, a generation of Afghan girls that were uh, able to go to school. And on top of all that, these American service members, they did their duty, and that is something they can always be proud of. They did what their country asked them to do. Mm. Now, when we were watching this fall apart in real time, which, you know, wasn't necessarily slow motion, it happened very, very quickly, uh, you released a video saying that if you were president, you would have done a lot of this differently. Do you want to run for office? Have you thought about that? I'm pushing everyone to be no, president okay. tonight on the show. I don't know why. I do not want to run for office. I hope things don't get bad enough in this country that they're looking for, for me to be running for office. <laughs> I don't like politics. I don't like politicians. And no, I don't want to run for office. <laughs> but you do have a very popular podcast, and you, you talk about a, a host of different issues. You also post a picture of your watch every day on Twitter at 4.30 in the morning. Are you just finishing your workout at 4.30 in the morning? No, that's when I'm getting up. I'm about to go do my workout. Um, what what do you consume before you work out? I have to know this. I work out on an empty stomach in the morning. So do you have any caffeine? No, I don't have any caffeine. Wow. If I have caffeine, it'll be sometime in the afternoon. Okay. So so just water or the, the tears of your enemies? What do you drink? <laughs> yes, water sprinkled with tears of my enemies. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, it's... It's very, very impressive. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, Jocko. Like, I have a very, very impressive fitness regime myself because I am a triathlete. I did a half Ironman in September. I'm doing another one in December. And I don't screw around. And I really appreciate your time management. Uh, but what I love is that you've written several books, several New York Times bestsellers. Uh, but you took a very distinct right turn in producing a work of fiction. Did, did one of your literary agents say, Jocko, I know you've got a yarn in here that you're just dying to share with the world. How did this come about? No, the, the literary agents and the publishers just want you to do cookie cutter what you've done before so they can sell it again. Yep. Uh, when you want to take a right turn, as you said, they, they get scared, they get nervous. I'm not scared. I'm not nervous. I know I had a great great story in my head with a filled with a bunch of great characters, and uh, the reviews so far have been phenomenal. So it's been great. Are you Johnny or the cleaner? Because I know who I am. I, I'm, a little, I'm a little bit of both. My, my, my personality is more in Johnny, mm -hmm. but the, the personality of the cleaner was based on a woman that I worked at with when at I Wendy's. worked at Wendy's flipping burgers. I love that story so much. And she was in charge of the salad bar. That would be my job. She was. Uh, I, I love your dedication to your craft. The book is great. We're going to talk about it on my podcast on Thursday, Kennedy Saves the World, starring Jocko Willink. That's going to drop, uh, I think, on Friday. Jocko, thank you for everything in the world. Thanks for having me, Kennedy. Okay. Bye.